It is, of course, NAIDOC week, and all around the country there are phenomenal Indigenous-run apps and technology services that are being built, and we have assembled an awesome panel of people from across the country. We have Kayla Cartledge from Our Songlines joining us. We have Christopher Lawrence from what was originally This My Mob as an app. He's also from UTS. We'll talk more about how that's changing in a minute. And Dr Kyle Turner, who is an epidemiologist and also the co-founder of Pearly. Welcome, all of you, to the show. I'm going to get you to each talk about a little bit about what it is that you've built. I'll start with you, Kayla. You are the founder and CEO of Songlines, a Gringy woman. Tell me about our Songlines. It's currently a web browser, so you can go in there and you open it up and it's got a map of Australia. Overlaid on top of that is the 500 or so Aboriginal nations within Australia. From the very get-go, we wanted to make sure that people were learning about Indigenous culture from Indigenous people. So that's why we chose the name Our Songlines. It starts people thinking from the start. But when you go through it, you can select point of interest and you can navigate to where you're standing um, or different places around Australia. And you'll see Aboriginal symbols, which are used to identify different landmarks. So we've got things like meeting place symbols, um, which are traditional Aboriginal symbols, and that will highlight an Aboriginal meeting place or gathering place. And then it really highlights any Aboriginal-owned businesses or cultural centres that focus on Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander culture. What was happening that motivated you to build it in the first place? I was born in Darwin in the Northern Territory and I had all my family around me. And then when I was eight or so, I moved to Bunurong land on the Mornington Peninsula and there was no other Aboriginal people. I felt really isolated in those um, teenage years. So what I wanted to do was make sure that that wasn't going to happen again. Christopher Lawrence, creator of the This Is My Mob app, Noongar Man. Tell me about This Is My Mob. What What is it that you're trying to build there? We never set out to do this, but it's a bit of a, you know, a black version of Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, originally, we were hoping that it would be a platform to connect all Indigenous people with other Australians. And then the mob said, no, look, we've got all those friends on Facebook. We don't need to connect with them <laughs> on this app. This app is about us. And so we were like, okay. And then obviously there were also um, questions about connecting those um, mob who've been removed um, from their communities or families and the stolen generation um, and people trying to find their mob. And that's really what this whole platform was about. It's about digital land rights. Like in 2015, when we were actually writing this grant, there was an app um, available on the Amazon and the Apple Store and Google Store, um, which was about, uh, it was called Survival Three Australia, and it was about how you could bludgeon to death an Aborigine. Mm. And so we knew then that was the icing on the cake for us, even though it was horrific stuff to look at. So we screenshotted all that and we sent that with our application (laughs) to the government. And so we feel that that was really strong evidence and provided us the the rationale why this was so important. COVID offered us this gift because it forced everybody to go online. The whole world shut down and went online, including Indigenous people. And Indigenous Australians, um, the Aboriginal Medical Services, who are the real stakeholders here in primary health care in these communities, were paying, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to use telehealth products. And so this was also an opportunity for us to help reduce the burden of cost, which also impacts on Indigenous people, um, their health and their well-being. And so this platform, we're hoping that all Aboriginal medical services around the country will take it up. We never designed the app around a medical service. So now it's taking a whole new life and a whole new identity, really giving us a whole new perspective on what the research really means. And finally, rounding out our panel, Dr. Kyle Turner, CEO and co-founder of Pearly. Uh, and you're also a Wiradjuri man as well, I understand. Born in Dubbo, uh, in central New South Wales. Tell me about Pearly. It's uh, free dental checkups. Um, so we built some artificial intelligence that uh, scans photos of your teeth, which you take at home for free using your phone, you scan your mouth. And within about three seconds, the algorithm checks for a range of oral diseases. So look for like tooth decay, staining, gingivitis, things like that. 
it's a precursor to going to the dentist. Um, if you haven't been in a while, you can't afford it. It's just a, it's trying to be a bit of a bridge to help you get the treatment you need a bit earlier. So where did the idea come from, Kyle? So I grew up in a, in a pretty poor family um, out back, lived in Aboriginal community housing growing up in uh, central New South Wales and dental was pretty low on the um, pecking order uh, when you're trying to fight for, put food on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm paying for it now. It's fully preventable, most uh, oral diseases, uh, with just regular checkups and some really basic oral health education. So learn to brush twice a day, learn to floss. So I built Pearly to do something about that because I knew tech could help um, so that no one else ends up with cracked teeth like mine. <laughs> Understood. There is heaps more of this discussion. You can find it right now on the Download This Show podcast and it's available now.